Hi there. Well, today we're going to be having a look at the Sonoff Cam Slim Generation 2. So the version 2 of this camera has got some major improvements over the previous version. So it's a full HD 1080p live. It's got alerts, two-way audio, human detection this time, night vision, camera hibernation, cloud storage, and the ITSP protocol. So having a look at this little camera, I actually like the way that it's been designed. It stands really easily. So it's got this little swivel base, which can either stand or it can be mounted against the wall. And then it's got this ball that allows you to move it around. Looking at the front of the camera, we've got the lens itself. Uh, we've got our little blue LED at the top there. We've got our microphone at the bottom there. On the side, we've now got a QR code pairing, which is a great improvement on the old audio pairing. Uh, you've got your SD slot over there. You've got your speaker and your USB-C cable at the back here. And then you've got your reset or pairing button on the side there. So pairing was really easy. I just opened up the iwi Link app. I went plus and I scanned the little QR code on the side there that immediately popped it up in the app. I then went along and press add device and plug it in and then next. Long press the button for five seconds, next. Check that the LED is flashing and press yes. Then it asks for your Wi-Fi connection so, and there it connected. So having a look at the main screen, we've got access to our motion detection, an alarm that we can set up, but to start off with, I'm going to do an RTSP screen so we can bring this into Home Assistant. So to enable the RTSP stream, we click on the three dots here and then we scroll down to more settings over there. And then we go down here to RTSP and we click the little slider to enable it over here. Now you do need to have a password. So put something in for your password there and then create the link. Once you've created this link, you can copy this now, in order to check my RTSP stream, I go along to VLC Media Player, I go Open Network Stream, and I paste that URL in over here. We'll then go Play, and there we go. You can see that my image is streaming through from the camera to my PC. So in order to add the stream into Home Assistant, we go to Settings, Devices and Services, Add Integration, and we type in Camera, and I select Generic Camera, and there we go. Now this, if your camera is producing a still image, you can use it here. Personally, I don't have one available for, to me at the moment for this camera, so I'm just gonna paste in the streaming source. So we paste it in there like that. Um, you could pretty much leave all of these the same as they are and just go submit. There we go, it's created our new camera. Uh, we can add that to an area. I've got it in the kitchen and we can go finish. So now we can go along to our generic camera. So we can just open up our stream and there we have it streaming directly into Home Assistant. So to add this camera to our dashboard, we're going to select our dashboard, go edit. We're going to add a picture glance card. There we go. And all we do now, we go down here, we select our camera entity and I'm going to make this live so I have a live stream. And we save that, done, and there we go. We have our kitchen live stream coming directly onto our Home Assistant dashboard. To enable the AI motion detection, I go along here to motion detection, we switch it on, and we make sure that we've triggered human only, not any moving target. Press save. And then as I start walking into the room, you can see there it detects me, and sends me a message. Thank you very much again for watching my video. If you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe, and please let me know what you think of this Sonoff camera. Bye for now.